So now I'm going to show you how to create a daylight animation in 3ds Max. So in the last video, I showed you how to do a daylight shadow analysis at different times of the day. And uh, now I'm going to show you how this can be um, shown in an animation. Uh, so I want my animation to show the daylight moving from a 7 a.m. position to a 5 p.m. position. Um, so first, um, I'm just going to select my daylight head and uh, go to the modify panel and uh, click set up under daylight parameters and just change the first time to uh, seven oh, to seven a.m. Uh, okay, so now that I've done that, um, I want to create the animation. Um, so we're going to be working um, with our frames uh, at the bottom, and uh, to create the animation that I want to make, all I have to do is uh, set a keyframe at um, uh, at seven a.m. at the beginning, and then set a keyframe at five p.m. at the end. Uh, so to do this, we're going to uh, just simply click auto, and then you'll uh, see that this becomes red. Um, and then we just slide it all the way to the end and change the time here to, to 5 p.m. And now when we slide uh, the frames, we should see that an animation has been created. Uh, with a zero at the 7 uh, a.m. position and 100 at the 5 p.m. position. And when we play it, we get an idea of what this uh, animation will look like. Okay, so now that I'm happy with the result, um, I'd like to render it out. And to do this, I'm just going to go into my render setup and make sure Arnold is selected. Um, and I'm just going to save it as uh, JPEG, so that's uh, that's fine. And um, under common parameters, just have to make sure that range is selected so that um, you're not uh, rendering out just a single frame and you're rendering out uh, every frame. Um, so I'm, I've selected 0 to 100 so that all of these frames are rendered out. And if you don't want to render out every single frame, then you can change the value under every nth frame. So I've just selected five, uh, which means that I'll end up with uh, 20 rendered frames in total. And when you're happy with all of, all of that, you can simply click render to render out your animation.